Zoom, Google Meets, Microsoft Teams. If you're wondering which of these video conferencing options are best for you, let's investigate. I want to say right off the bat that these programs are very much the same feature wise. And the reality is if you are invested in one of these ecosystems, there is really no need to change and lose the seamless integration of something like Teams in Office 365. Without further ado, let's start with Zoom and we are going to use the pricing plans to do our comparisons. So first we start with the Zoom free plan. On the free plan, meetings will last for 40 minutes maximum for 100 participants. You get the basic versions of Docs, so that means no AI, basic whiteboard and clips, notes and mail, calendar, so forth. No cloud saves, so all recordings will be stored locally. Something they don't mention, generally recording quality is going to be 360p for free users. Which, I know 360p sounds bad, but if you think about bandwidth when recording video and conferencing specifically, it could work in your favor. Now, the next stop is Pro. The price is $15.99 a month. However, it's cheaper for yearly plans. You have licenses for one to nine users. The meetings can last for 30 hours now and the max participants for meetings are still 100. However, now you have the option to pay for 500 to 1000 participants in large meetings. You have access to 5 gigs of cloud storage and you also have access to the premium applications and programs and the Zoom AI companion. Here the max recording quality is 720p. Lastly, we have business at $21.99 a month unless you opt for yearly payment. Notable changes is a much larger amount licenses, 300 participants max with the option to pay for more, unlimited whiteboards, recording transcripts, managed domains, and more. Zoom can integrate with both the Google and Microsoft ecosystem so that is something to keep in mind next up we have google meets google meets is free to use for anyone with a google account and you're hard pressed to find anybody who doesn't have a google account with the free plan meetings can last for 60 minutes with up to 100 participants and everything has general integration with google workspace which means gmail drive calendar and so forth this is going to be very useful to android operating system users as most if not all of these will already come with your device also keep in mind you can do 720p here however you may experience times where it defaults to 360p and you need to manually change it nearly every time so when we start paying we pay for workspace which starts at 6 usd for business starter 30 gigs of Google Drive storage. I believe the usual is 15 gigs for free users. You get custom business emails. From here on, you get access to 1080p video quality and Gemini AI integration. Business standard costs $12 and you get two terabytes of pooled storage up to 150 participants in meetings. Then there's a business plus and that is $18 and you get five terabytes of pooled storage and enhanced security. And lastly is enterprise. You will have to contact a Google salesperson for pricing on this, but you can have up to 1000 participants on enterprise. It's important to note that 
with each plan, you are getting upgrades across all of the Google Workspace programs and applications. And this does not just relate to Google Meets. Now, next we move over to Microsoft Teams. Again, here we have maximum of 100 people for up to 60 minutes. Teams can do 1080p at 30 FPS on the free plan if you have the bandwidth to support it. Five gigs of cloud storage, again, integration nearly across the entire Microsoft ecosystem, though anyone who is in that ecosystem knows that Microsoft 365 is the main funnel Microsoft wants to lead you to. If you want Teams Essential, that's $4, and you get 10 gigs of cloud storage, Teams meetings with transcripts, and you can get the Copilot AI add-on. So the basic version of Microsoft 365 Personal is $70 a year or $6.99. Here you have up to 300 participants in a call. You get the premium version of Microsoft Office, one terabyte of cloud storage. Did I just say terabytes? Ad-free email, calendar, and contacts in one place. I'm honestly slightly biased to Microsoft's entire ecosystem because I grew up with it as I am sure a large portion of people my age did. I'm not that old guys. You can get office for a family of up to six people. Each person gets a terabyte of storage and it's a hundred dollar a year. If you are a business, you can opt for 365 business basic at $72 a year. And this is an annual subscription. It's identity, access and management for up to 300 employees, business emails, some additional business programs like bookings and planner. Microsoft 365 Business Standard at $150 a year. The major difference I can see here is that you have access to the actual desktop version of Microsoft Office instead of just the web and mobile versions. Yes, there are other things, but this is the main draw for me. Across the board though, it's only 300 participants for calling and videos. Microsoft 365 Business Premium though is $264 a year uh, but it really just seems like a security update but I don't run a business so I guess don't take my word for it. In conclusion all of these are deeply rooted in their respective environments however I think Zoom stands out for its unique ability to integrate with all of the those workspaces. I'm trying not to say ecosystem for the 10 billionth time in this video. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day.